We'd like to sincerely thank our Patreon supporters. Hey, what's going on everybody? Kagan and I are out here working on stuff as <laughs> usual. And uh, you know me, always solving problems. When we got these iguanas, and I'm sorry, that's diatomaceous earth that is there to kill some ants that were finding their way up there. Looks like baby powders all over the enclosure. Um, it'll be gone by tomorrow because the rain's gonna wash it away, but we're just trying to knock them back while it's dry for the moment. It looks like it did. Mm -hmm. At least took care of the ants on the surface. Yeah. But all of our feed was being stored inside of these cages and we moved it just quickly because you can't have rodents having access to your feed because we actually had a squirrel that was chewing through the plastic lid to get to the feed when it was on that sled. And I'm calling it a sled. I'll show it to you in a moment and you guys will probably know what it is. I feel like I see them out in the, the fields where they put salt licks for cows and <laughs> feed for goats, hay, it's stuff like storage. that. Feed storage. Feed storage. Well, right now, our very limited hallway <laughs> is full of all the feed bins and it's limiting, limiting our room to move around. So what we're gonna do is we'll take a ride up over by the shop and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna build. Okay, so here is what I am talking about. It's a feed sled. Now we got this from our friend Adam Griner, who had given us the quail. In fact, all the quail were in this when he gave it to me. All the metal things were in here and that's when we had an issue with predation right away. Mm -hmm. Something, maybe I believe it was a possum in the end. And uh, I think I'm gonna remove this from it. I think we're gonna screen the back if we say the side that you're on is the back and this is the front, I don't believe it really makes a difference because yep. it spins around. I can, I've got a chain hooked up to it. I can drag it with the tractor and um, I'm just gonna have to put a little bit of a header to lower this somewhat so the doors can clear this when they swing open and just screen it with half inch by half inch cloth and cover up like that can actually have um, hardware cloth stapled there. So if rain comes in, this has a way to drain is, is why he has that there. But still that's an entrance for a rodent. So we'll, we'll seal that up. And I see up here, there's a little air gap for something to crawl in. So I'll have screen over that. You know me, I'll, I'll make sure it's right. And uh, I think we're gonna get started. All right, guys, I have, this is from the back side, showing that I've screened and supported the, the back of the enclosure. I've removed that shelf off of it. So we've got half inch by half inch hardware cloth stapled two inches. That should be pretty sealed. You know, I, I, I do question this stuff, if a rodent can find its way in. And uh, I mean, I guarantee you a mouse can. And if that becomes a problem, um, I'll address it. Um, I can get a uh, mix up. I mean, I could put steel wool and expandable foam in each one of those, which makes it almost impossible for a rodent to chew through. Um, I could mix up epoxy and cavasil and put it in a a tube and squirt it into each one of those and it'd be rock hard. Um, we'll see. We'll see if it's a problem. So far, rats have not been a problem on this property yet. Well, now was this other entrance that I didn't like. This was a drain hole that Adam had put on there and so he could rinse everything off and it could all go through. But that's an entrance way for a rodent. So I took this scrap screen I bent it 90 degrees, I'll staple it in the middle, and then I'll staple it on both sides. So now that still works as a drain, and they can't get in. So I'll go ahead and get that stapled up, and now I need to start building the supports to be able to build doors on the front. And again, I'm gonna need a piece of lumber big enough, maybe a two by eight, 
to lower this down somewhat um which i believe i have i think i have some scrap two by eights so once i get the frame for the doors done i'll show you again it's now the next day and i really hope to finish this product project yesterday but uh it just didn't happen yesterday was father's day so uh we ended up going to uh my parents house and cooked a snook dinner with my parents and uh it was great back to the grind today but yesterday for some just unknown reason something locked up in my left elbow and uh it feels like i don't know what it feels like it feels like i tore a tendon or something my arm hurts like i want to have it in a cast but and it's hard to straighten all the way and it's hard to to retract all the way so i'm on advil um, i was just doing laundry inside and it hurt doing laundry so i'm gonna try and get what i can done i don't know what's going on hopefully i'll figure it out but uh this is where i am i think i, I worked for about an hour yesterday morning i think you guys saw the back side all sealed up so it looks secure I could off add a strip of wood or something like that later if I feel like the um, like the staples are going to start to corrode. That would seal it up even better. But for now, that's good. The front, I'm probably going to put the screen on the back side. Oh, I could do the screen on the front side. I honestly could do either. The doors are going to close against this stop somewhere in here. So I'm gonna measure out for the doors and I think the hinges, I'm gonna put like you would a normal door, flat against there, flat against the door I'm hanging. Um, that's gonna swing the door over so you just need a little more room here, but we obviously have that. So that should work out fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip some two by fours into two by twos to make these doors and uh, get them screened. Now, another reason for rushing this project, you know, I showed you the room in the hallway. Two of my best friends in the entire world, Jackie and Harry Kapanowski are coming over. Jackie is in a wheelchair and we really wanna get her down the hallway where she can have maybe forest or something like that in her lap. Um, just get her to interact with some of the better lizards, maybe Lily, um, let's see what we can't do. If she's not comfortable, we'll just keep it from a distance, but I would love to be able to get her in the hallway and get all those food bins out of the way, which means I have less than two hours to finish this project, get it set up over there and the food bins in it. I probably will have to get Kagan to help me to get the food bins in it. Um, I'm not much for lifting right now. So uh, let me get started and uh, I'll show you once the doors are hung. She's all done. I've got temporary handles on there. I've got wood block lock sets on there for now. Um, they'll keep it sealed up. Once I trim the doors, I can put a more proper, easier turning. Obviously, something doesn't want to turn easy over the screen. But once I trim it, it'll be perfect. But uh, they're going to be here in 45 minutes. I still need to take a shower after I drag this in place and load it up. So uh, let me get the tractor out here and we'll get it out there. Well, there you have it. I, uh, I have it in place. I transferred all the food in there. And uh, again, I will trim this out nicer and put actual handles on it because we'll probably use this as a permanent food storage solution for us. That way the food's not in the shop, it's out closer to the animals. Um, I'll probably trim out this side later and I'll show you guys maybe when we're working on another project right now honestly i want to save all the trim for the doors and stuff in the hallway um instead of spending it on this right now because money is obviously quite a bit tighter i actually used the two by fours that i intended to brace this roofing on uh on building those doors and whatnot kagan's in here doing waters on all the animals and I believe they're due to be here in about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna see where I can help out so we can get it inside and get cleaned up for our guests.
So you guys can see from the photos that we had an amazing visit with Harry and Jackie and uh, kind of just went into that visit and really didn't tell you anything about them. But uh, they're both very special to me. Um, Harry is a retired uh, firefighter. He's gonna kick my butt for not knowing. Up in the Northeast, I wanna say Jersey, but it could have been New York. He's gonna kill me for not knowing. Uh, and, and Jackie is, uh, I don't know. I, I don't even want to start by saying she represented the U.S. in the Olympics multiple times. But that's not what, I mean, what makes her special is she's like one of the, the physically and mentally strongest women I've ever met in my entire life. Uh, we trained for a race together and we got to train side by side. And uh, she was just in an immensely powerful human being. And, and almost inspirational. Uh, and uh, I, I probably fell in love with racing even more just from spending time with her um, and the support. And, and she is paralyzed from the waist down. So she's rode for the US and the Olympics only using her arms. Um, she uh, does the hand cycle racing. Uh, she does, she does all sorts, and, and Harry is side by side with her through everything. And uh, they're just an amazing team. And it was really special for the two of them to come over and meet Kagan, and Kagan to see two people that are very important uh, to me in my life. And uh, it was an amazing time, it really was. And uh, I think Jackie says next time she comes over, snakes. So she's gonna, she, I don't think she necessarily had a lizard in her lap, but she did handle a lizard a lot more than, you know, way out of her comfort zone. And uh, I think next time we'll get her to hold a snake. So that'll be <laughs> really cool. Um, I think that's it for this one, guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you soon.